Welcome, Dr. Shane Harada here. Our last video, we discussed the immune system and immune system boosters, natural, such as essential oils and foods and antioxidants and uh, other types of herbs and so forth. This week, I'm going to discuss some of those in a very particular format. Now, as we do this, because last video I discussed about 45 of those and I just had to mention them. So now we're gonna start going into some of those in a little bit more depth. Obviously, I'm not gonna get through all 45 of them in one video, but we'll break those down and we'll get through those so that you can have a much better understanding of what they're targeting, if it's uh, mold, virus, bacteria, fungus, because many of these natural remedies have very specific areas that they'll help target. So if you have that particular challenge, they can help support the system. Others are more general immune system boosters and can help um, in, in general and laying a foundation so that your body just has a greater energy level to help fight off bugs and infections and so forth. So let me share my screen here. And we're going to go first into some of the best antiviral herbs. Now garlic, ginger and ginger by the way goes tremendously well with turmeric and this one mentions licorice root elderberry elderberry is amazing at helping the body overcome bacteria virus and things of that nature and, and that would be the cold and flu uh, elderberry can help even with high blood sugar levels and helping to lower those and bring those down um, calendula that's a flower by the way uh, considered to be an herb, astragalus root, olive leaf. I hope you can see some of those and you can pause the video and take a look and, and write down some of those notes that are there. So ginger, again, let's look at that. And I have another slide here. And we're, now these come right off the internet as I just looked up best antiviral herbs or very common antivirals. So you can do the same thing and look those up. Let's look at another one here. This one has a few of the same, but this one gives a little bit different description on some of them. So we have garlic, lemon balm, turmeric, and ginger. Those are phenomenal, again, in pairs. Now in nature, what's been found, and they're doing this out in the Fijian Islands where they're growing an organic ginger that I know of that is phenomenal. And so if you'd like that source, just reach out, comment. I'll be happy to get some private information to you on that. Turmeric and ginger, organically grown, and it's actually higher in the active ingredients than any of the other that are on the market that they've tested. They are awesome. In that setting, they actually plant a row of ginger and a row of turmeric side by side, and then they'll skip and do the same with another row. And what they found is that in nature, they actually help to protect each other from bugs and environmental agents, and they actually help each other synergistically to grow together. Now, what's been found is they also do the same thing in the body. Turmeric is awesome as a antioxidant to help raise the level of energy in the body, and it takes out free radicals. That's another discussion is free radicals and antioxidants. The ginger can help with digestion as well and help improve digestion. Uh, I've known ginger to help with uh, motion sickness and it is incredible as, as an herb. Oregano, another awesome one. Now the FDA is actually taking a stand on oregano because it is so powerful. The oregano extract or the oregano oil is also a hot oil and can be uh, very, shall we say toxic or destructive if not diluted properly. So make sure that you're diluting that so that it's not, so that you don't get burned or if you're using it with a child, make sure that it's very mild so that there's no chance of uh, burns or toxicity to it. So with that, various individuals also have a varying level. Like you've noticed some people are more uh, sensitive to uh, hot red peppers or hot green peppers and jalapenos and, and different things of that. Other people have a much higher tolerance level and, uh, and they're not as sensitive to it. The oils and things are exactly the same. So 
figure out where you're at on that scale and just make sure that you're diluting those properly. Elderberry is awesome as well for the antioxidant level and boosting the immune system. We talked about that uh, from the last slide as well. So uh, another one that I'll share here real quick is this one here. Oil of oregano, turmeric, echinacea. Echinacea is one of those that's a general immune system booster. And if you feel something coming on, then you can increase its dosage tremendously. Even to the point of with echinacea, I personally, and although I don't recommend it for everybody, be careful again with this because dosages amounts do vary. But when I have felt something coming on and it's, it's progressing, I increase my vitamins and my minerals even three or four times from the uh, regular daily amount that I take. So I'm giving my body a flood of these nutritional ingredients. And if there's cold or flu symptoms or a fever or other things coming on with it, then I'll bulk up on the echinacea and the garlic and the ginger and, and so forth, even to the tune of taking a few capsules every hour and a half to two hours. So, and a few capsules, that can be two, four, six, eight, as long as you're taking those at a spread, spread out time, you know, a couple of capsules every hour, you know, four capsules every couple of hours. And so you can get used to doing that as well. Grapefruit seed extract, neem, golden, neem and golden seal are two others. Now, golden seal is a very powerful one. It goes with echinacea. They pair together so well. Golden seal is more powerful as an antibiotic and is only taken for a short period of time, but it can be taken with the echinacea for that short period of time, meaning less than six weeks. Um, but you can take an increased dosage amount of that, uh, but then your body is going to need a break. So garlic, ginger, honey. Now, as we talk about fresh, raw honey, let's also discuss that in conjunction with lemon and with apple cider vinegar. You can make a combination of that and with some warm water and take those ingredients and mix them together, uh, a tablespoon of honey and, and make it so that it really tastes good to your taste buds. And then you can drink it warm. It actually helps with digestion. The apple cider vinegar is a mild acid and helps increase and improve digestion. The honey has lots of enzymes and nutritional components to it, especially if it's raw and homegrown to your area, the bees will pollinate with the certain plants and the certain vegetations that are in your area, the flowers, and then it will mix that for your specific area and help your body actually produce the antibodies and things to your specific area with that. So those are the three ingredients, lemon, and, and with that, a tablespoon of honey, mix the lemon to taste and the apple cider vinegar add however much i'm not a particular uh liking to apple cider vinegar so i don't add very much um, but in, in small amounts i can handle it and it actually doesn't taste too bad so find out where you're at on that scale as well with sensitivity to vinegar now let's move on here a little bit and let's talk about various things that we just touched on last time as well, like zinc and vitamin C, colloidal silver, hydrogen peroxide mouth rinse. Those are phenomenal for antibiotics, antivirals, colds, flus, those kind of things increase that. Uh, I discussed the vitamin mineral and increasing your dosage amount there. Now, as we talk about um, high antioxidant foods, you can get into the ORAC scale, you can get into free radicals. Those are absolutely discussions for another time of how that affects the body. But in general, it helps to lower the free radicals, lower the breakdown of cellular at a cellular level and helps the body fight off and gives the body more energy to, to again, boost the immune system. Now, blackberry, blueberry, and elderberry all go together. And if you'll notice that in your health food store and various places, the, the formulas will have all three of those mixed. So we talk about onion and garlic, add those to your foods, add those to your recipes. Not only are they great spices, they're great at raising the antioxidant level, great at boosting the immune system. And you can do that in your cooking with regular uh, 
taco seasoning and uh, or if you're doing spaghetti various things like that now the other herbs that go with those that will also help are thyme and rosemary and basil. Uh, you can get those dried. You can, some people have them in their garden and will raise them in a greenhouse or in their garden and then dry them so you have your own. Those are all phenomenal ideas as well. And just learn how to crush them and, and put them in your sauces. When you do that they, and they're crushed, then they'll mix in much better than using whole leaves and so forth. But yes, then you get a much better and a bigger bang for your buck out of the foods that you're eating as well as then taking them in ground form or putting them in capsules or putting them in uh, tablets and things that, that some of the manufacturers and companies are doing. So with this, I have a special gift for you as well. 10% off all the supplements across the board at a company called Wellevate. They have over 350 brands there it's amazing the store that they have and they'll carry not only supplements and so forth but they will also carry um, different things like food bars and whole uh, natural soaps and detergents and different things like that they've got a whole bunch of natural things that's what their company is all about and I can give you a flat 10% discount off of everything that you order. And when your order is over $49, you get free shipping as well. So it, you don't have to get a huge order to get to that free shipping level. Love it. And I will put the uh, instructions in, on how to get that going uh, in, the, in the comments or in the description. So like, share, comment, subscribe. It's great to have you here. Love you. And we'll talk about some more in our next video. Take care.